Okay, so welcome back. Hello guys, welcome back to Paper Whisper. Today, I'll be teaching you the redo, because the worst one, my camera didn't work, but this is, today I'll be using a, a different device, and I'm gonna change the scenes, because why not? I thought it'd be cool to mix it up a bit. But today, I'm teaching you a snake charmer, charmer. Please forgive me if you're going anything wrong. We'll request to buy a new subscriber, Sachin Donnie Origami, or something like that. So, it's a special snake charmer with every single detail you can imagine. Fingers, a flute, and even a cloak and three snakes. I'll show you. So, one second, get it lined up. There's the flute. There's the fingers playing the flute. There's the cloak. There's the three snakes. And that's really it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and let's get started. Okay, so I'll be using a sheet of tissue foil. I'd recommend using a paper you can shape easily. And we're going to make a 32 by 32 grid. So, start by folding in half. And unfold. Now fold to that crease. Unfold. Now rotate 90 degrees and reveal. Oh, sorry, I got one piece. You're actually going to keep that folded. And then fold to that same crease you folded to last time and repeat twice more. So it's going to have one part, sorry, 16, 30 seconds. Now fold up to here and repeat. Oh, I hear my channel's growing. Make sure to, um, make sure to check out my latest tutorial, The Bird Woman. It's really cool. And I try to, I can't really blur things out easily, but I try my best to blur out the thumbnail, so you have to watch the video. Please tell me in the comments what you suggest for blurring software. Our grid is done. Now I need to check, make sure. Yep, our grid is done. Now we're gonna turn it over to this color side off. And we're gonna fold diagonally in half in both directions. Okay, and fold. And pull it all the corners to the very center. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn back over. We're gonna make a mountain fold along the second line. Easily, we're gonna make two, um, sorry, four square placings on each of, in each of these axes, except we're one catch. We're always, we're gonna start with a mountain fold on each one. So, like, it's always gonna start like this. So, we're gonna basically make some placings. How to explain, just to watch me. Again, thank you for suggesting this model. I'd ha I'm happy to I'm happy to make a tutorial on anything you do request, like I said. 
I'm not pissing I should have deleted that video, but um I'm having to make any tutorial, any tutorial, any design you want, as long as I'm not too overwhelmed by the questions. If I see like ten different models, I'm gonna have to vote to have you guys vote to choose one. So we're halfway done. Two of them glass. At least halfway done with glass, I should say. Mm -hmm. Not halfway done the model, not any place. But in a good way. It's a fun model. I, really, I would highly not recommend this for beginners. It is a pretty complex model. And I would not like anyone to get frustrated and have my channel deleted. So I worked pretty hard on it. So please watch this video in caution. Because this is can frustrate some people, most likely, that is. So I'd recommend having a decent amount of experience. I'd say at least three to five years of programming experience, at least a few months of shaping experience. told you I create um I'm sure I told you a whole lot of times but I hope you're enjoying my crochet channel like I said I hit five subscribers so you know what that means I'll be designing a flower blanket soon that I hope you guys enjoy so feel free to go check that out when it's posted anywho we're on the last one Yes. So if I should zoom out for see you know you 
can't see it better. Good enough. We have this thing looks like a abdomen kind of, or a spider back or whatever, and we're just gonna push it together and make all the flaps at the bottom stay. Super simple, actually. In my opinion, just kind of squish it together, and it will hopefully lay flat. But it doesn't be too flat because it's quite thick, honestly. So what is this? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift, we're gonna take one of the flaps and lift it up. Sorry, we're actually gonna take one of the flaps and turn it. Basically, you're gonna make sure that, here, let me, let me show it better. So the abdomen part that's in the very center is gonna stand up and then this flap in front of it is gonna turn into a rabbit ear. Now, we're gonna fold it up and make an outsider reverse fold. And then pinch it as tightly as you can to create the flute. Or twist it, your choice. I prefer doing a little bit of both. And we have our circular object. Now, we're gonna take the cloak, or which is the upper part of the cloak, or the abdomen part, whatever you wanna call it, and we're gonna expand it. Then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this up, and make sure it looks like it's inside from coming from inside. And, and it's not gonna stay inside because we have a bit of a belt feature we're gonna use in a sec. But now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the front two flaps up. And we're gonna basically, this part's a bit tricky. You're basically gonna just push, making a pinch on each side, creating two new flaps out of that original flap. And repeat once more. Actually, no, don't repeat. Sorry, that I used. And then you're gonna repeat on this flap, though. You will repeat. Then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift these up and pinch and pinch to shape them and make them look more like arms. You can shape your fingers if you want to. I like to, but if you don't feel like shaping it, you can just stop it the way it is. Maybe turn it into an insect or something. But like I said, shape, shaping is a huge factor of this model. It makes it look more realistic. And now, obviously these flaps are not going to stay locked together. Otherwise, it's not going to look like he's going to play the flute, whatever it's called. So what we're going to do is actually pretty cool. First, we gotta make sure this stays. And we're gonna start, and we're gonna take one of the flaps, take it and wrap it around and tuck it in right over here. And push it really closely, strongly, so it's gonna somewhat lock, not perfectly. Pulling or use fading flute on the top. Thing is, what about the bottom cloak and the legs? That's actually pretty simple. Or wait, there's no legs. Sorry, I forgot. The bottom cloak is covering them. But the thing is, once you open the bottom cloak, all you have to do is make the snakes. Which is three snakes, which is weird to find pretty cool how I make them. They're pretty simple. And then, all you have to do is shape the snakes, which is just pinching them together, making them more round. And you can make them twist if you want. I like to. Some of them up, some of them make them go up. 
at the end, if you keep watching, I'll show you what the um what the um what the original model looks like, which I think is really bad and really sucked. And I actually tried to make a tutorial out of it, which I'll show you in a sec. And how that didn't go well, which I'll explain when I'm done, which I almost am actually. So our model is actually done. All we have to do is make sure it stays locked. When you can open the flap of it, that might help. You don't have to lock it perfectly yet, but if you want to nothing's perfect, right? Good to have that same mindset. Nothing is indeed perfect, fortunately. Otherwise, nothing would be fun. Some things would not, wouldn't be fun. I have an idea if we can do another sneak, actually. Brilliant. And our sneak armor is actually done now. So, ready to see what the things look like one sec so this is the one i did make a tutorial on it's a 18 by 18 sheet of craft paper 18 by 18 inches i should say and then here's the original model i know this looks super super ugly let me show you i tried to attempt it having three stakes from box fleet that looks absolutely terrible looks, i don't even know what it is honestly like somebody peeing or something and you, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and have a great day. See you next time. Bye.